Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are taking a road trip from Srinagar to the stunning Gulmarg. We left our hotel around 8:30 a.m. It's about 50 km away. So roughly a 2 and 1/2 hour drive. Our first pit stop for breakfast is Raja Dhaba. We had delicious aloo paratha and chai. Total it costed us rupees 200 including a water bottle. Back on the road, the views were mind blowing. Both sides are just gorgeous. Tanmag During winter this is where your Srinagar cab stops and you need a special car with snow chain to go further those can cost between rupees 1500 to 2000 extra Luckily it is April so our car could handle the rest of the journey Let me tell you The scenery is just unreal. I am like should I film this or that? Everything is incredible. Just imagine winter with everything blanketed in white. A whole different kind of magic. I think you really need to visit Kashmir 3 times to experience its full beauty. Winter wonderland white, spring summers vibrant greens, blues and yellows. and autumn's fiery oranges yellows and red it's like heaven on earth one thing to note there are a lot of toll booths throughout kashmir so keep that in mind when negotiating your car service package welcome to gulmarg folks isn't the view just mesmerizing Now, funny story. We tried really hard to get gondola tickets online, but the website wouldn't cooperate. Bummer. We even tried for Buta Patri, but it was closed that week, and we couldn't get permission from police. So we opted for the local sightseeing package that included the drunk waterfall also. Costed us around thirty-five hundred for a sumo car, but yes, you can always bargain more. Our first stop is the Kashmir Valley view point perfect for some photo ops. We are heading towards the Hari Singh Palace with an entry fees of rupees thirty per adult. The Hari Singh Nivas Palace is an old palace in Gulmarg. It looks out over the Tavi River on one side and the Trikuta Hills on the other. It was made for Sri Hari Singh, the last Maharaja of Jammu and Kashmir. 1895 to 1961 in the early 1890 extra part of the Amar Mahal Palace built in 1890 where Sri Hari Singh could host his guests after 1925 before he used the older Mubarak Mandi Palace for this
movie now stopped at this stunning spot where many bollywood movies were filmed during mid of may this spot will become more greener and during winters you could imagine the white snow all around beautiful isn't it We are passing by the strawberry valley. Sadly, no strawberries in this season. Hence, we didn't stop here. We then stopped at another breathtaking location. To reach there, the road was very muddy and slippery. It was all worth when we reached here and saw the lush greenery and the tiny yellow flowers. I could only imagine how stunning it will look around mid of May. Almost all the snow had melted with just a few patches left. We decided to explore the snowy side and have some fun. the children's park if you want you could stop here and spend some time the helicopter service offering two packages a 10 to 12 minutes joy ride for rupees 8500 per adult and a 20 minute trip to sunshine peak via mount afrawat we then ventured towards the gondola area even though we didn't have the tickets just to check it out This area also has several hotels but be prepared for premium prices. It's a great spot to stay and enjoy the winter snowfall.
point of the I love Gulmarg. Check out this amazing shot I managed to capture. A helicopter taking off right when I needed it. Here is the tourist information center. I highly recommend stopping by for any queries. Outside there could be many kind of scams. Next, we visited the Maharani Temple, where the famous Bollywood song Jai Jai Shiv Shankar from the 1974 movie Aapki Kasam was filmed. The temple is also known as the Rani Temple or Monishwar Shivalaya. all around from the top of the temple was simply stunning Finally, we are heading towards the Drung waterfall, passing through Tanmark. You can even take an ATV ride here if you like, which should cost you around 2000 rupees. We stopped here and grabbed a bite to eat before reaching the waterfall. Here we are at the Drung Waterfall. During this season, the water flow is very minimal, but in winter, it freezes over and becomes a breathtaking sight. You could search for the photos in internet. They look stunning. Definitely a must visit during the winter months. We spent some time and explored the area, took some photos and videos as there was nothing much to do here. There are few eateries here where you could grab Maggie or some other snacks.
will head back to Tanmark taxi stand where our Srinagar cab is waiting to take us back to Srinagar. And that's how we spent our amazing day in Gulmarg. Tomorrow we are off to Pehelgaon. So stay tuned for that adventure. Please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you haven't seen my Srinagar and Sonmag videos, please go and check them out too. Thank you for joining me. Take care. Peace.